welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello i have in front of me a large second hand haul which i actually got last year and i finally got around to sorting out and going through and writing little notes you'll see there's lots of bags with notes on uh it is he-man original he-man 1980s figurines my husband brought me this entire box worth and um as i said i've just got around to making notes of which each character's name is and if they're possibly missing something as I want to add to them and then I can mark them off a list saying this character needs this character. Just like I do with my dolls, I do pretty much the same with all my real collections that I'm quite fussy about. Now I have other He-Man toys, ones I've picked up from the thrift stores. So they're like this if anyone wants to get in. And you can see I paid a dollar for this one. So generally if I'm at a thrift store and I'm lucky because He-Man toys are super sought after here, I can pick up a He-Man toy for about a dollar, two dollars. But if I can't get them for the super cheap in the thrift stores, generally you're looking at on e uh, on Trade Me, I should say, which is a New Zealand site, anything from around twenty dollars per figurine. So this is why this was a super deal for us. Um, I won't go into the purchase price or anything like that. But I'm going to bring up each bag and let's have a look at the characters together. See who I got. I think I got an almost complete set. Not including the vehicles, but the action figures. Let's start. So we're going to start off with, I think this guy's called Squeeze. <laughs> he has a snake weapon which he's missing. But yeah, he's got these long arms which you can pull to either side. <laughs> <laughs> He's really cool and um, I really love He-Man toys. I think 1980s boys toys were amazing. You know the original Transformers, um, the Insectoids, they've got some Insectoids. I love Insectoids. Um, He-Man, G.I. Joe, all those sorts of ones were just amazing. Here is Mecha Neck. So as he moves around his neck extends like this. He's really cool, and he is missing his club. Next is Stinkor, one of my personal favorites. And let me tell you, he still stinks. He came with his little shield. <laughs> he still absolutely stinks. I remember this guy, um, my brother had him when I was younger. The man himself, He-Man, he came with this red shield and gray sword and battle axe. And it, he's still got his movement in his waist there choo, choo, choo. so cool stratos he's missing his left wing i checked them all they're really good quality so stratos i think he's like a flying man i can't remember the original show that well you know what i need to watch these all with my son just for some nostalgia <laughs> because i don't I really loved Insectoids too, the action figures Insectoids from the 1980s and there was also the Texas guys and they had a big green man who'd fling discs, silver discs, I had him as well. Just the boys toys in the 1980s were so incredibly cool. I think they tried to copy it a little with Ben 10 but um, I, I prefer that they move away from the cutesy, the cutesy stuff. Okay, oh one of my favourite, Grizzlor. And there is his bow. Here is Grizzlor. We've got his little crossbow here. Or Fluffy. I mean, you can, if you've seen the toys that made us, the fun the guys must have had designing these toys. It's really, really cool. Another personal favorite here. My brother had a lot of them when he was younger. Leech, you had to press this to make him suck onto things. And of course he's got suckers on his hands and his feet and there's his crossbow. I'm so glad. I got all the ones which I was like, oh, I remember this guy. Oh, I loved him. I loved him. I loved him. So I don't think there was any that I was like, oh, what? I missed out on that one. I'm pretty sure I covered them all with this collection. Here is Too Bad, which of course punches you know, his other side. Unfortunately, the other arm's rotation has gone, see? No longer goes back, at least this one still works. 
and he is missing his shield. Oh, poor, too bad. But does he look cool? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they really in He-Man went for the whole um, bad guys, uh, imbeciles thing, which which was charming, really. It really was charming. And of course, one of the few females in He-Man, Sorceress, and she comes with her staff. So her wings go down behind her. Beautiful. Here is Jitsu for his chop action, cha, cha, <laughs> and his long katana sword. He was really cool. Here is Flying Fist He-Man looking very shiny. You can see how he moves there. Now he has come with quite a few of his accessories, but unfortunately the shield is broken and I need the red clip for him. But that's all right, I have him and he's really good condition. I think this is Zodiac. I'm sorry if I've got this wrong. This one I'm going on memory. I've written Zodiac down for some reason, but I don't actually remember this guy in the cartoon. So he's very plain looking with just a mask. Here is Webster. He's like a spider. I'm missing his grapple hook and his laser rifle. I actually really like this guy. I just wish as a spider they'd given him more, um, more arms. I'm blue double D double die. Here is Faker, He-Man's fake copy. Looking very strong. I am missing his sword, unfortunately. Darn it. <laughs> Skeletor, 1984 version, I believe, with his sword and his staff. I love Skeletor as a villain. He is rememberable, he's awesome, and I really don't know why they can't make villains as memorable as this guy nowadays. He's just so incredibly cool. Let's see, they still all got their springs in them. And we have Cyclone, and he still has his rotation at the back so he can spin around and comes with some defense in his sword. Here is Ram Man, who quite literally, when you press the little thing on his feet, go, should be ramming. Should be ramming, he was ramming just before. Please ram again. There we go. <laughs> Needed a tiny bit of a nudge upwards. So yeah, Ram Man rams. Another of the female characters, this one being a villain. This is Evil Lynn. She has her little staff there. Very jaundiced, isn't she? <laughs> I just love, love, love. Um, if you've never seen the movie Fire and Ice, there was a real look back then for females and men, um, strong men and, you know, very slim and, uh, and sexy is the right word, females. I love, love, love that this carried on to the He-Man characters. Another personal favorite here, you can see he comes with his crossbow, but what was really sad for me was, look at his eyes, some of the painting on them's come off, and of course, you know, he's the one that the eyes go up and down on, and he, this is a personal favorite, but I actually already have him in my collection in very good condition, so I wasn't too fussed, I was just a little upset because, um, I might be able to get a white in that off-white color or I might not be able to when I restore him and I didn't really want to take the chance. So I'm just going to kind of leave him as it, he is at the moment with all those paint chips. <laughs> yeah. But at least I have another one of him in really good condition. Here is Spycore and he has his like a harpoon type weapon there and he also has his orange bombing knocker mace like weapon here another one that i remember fondly from my brother's collection when he was small and now i have him i just wish his eyes weren't so derpy but it's all right he's pretty cool <laughs> here is merman and i'm pretty sure that when they were doing the names and laughing and consuming alcohol i believe i heard that in the um the uh, toys that made us documentary 
the this is the guy they considered calling C man. Now obviously that put together really fast would not do go down well with the uh with the parents, so they decided on Merman. He is missing his sword. He kind of looks like a cat more than a merman. <laughs> I like him though. Another personal favorite here, Rattler. I remember playing with this guy so much when I was little. I just thought he was so cool. So he makes you shake him, he makes a rattly sound. And if you press his back, he strikes. Isn't that cool? Camera is not being my friend of staying in focus. <laughs> but he strikes. I think he's a really cool one. And he came with his stuff. Here is Rock On, one of the rock men. So when his little special thing is, he goes in like this, and he becomes a rock. There you go. No one would suspect anything with a blue rock just randomly showing up in the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> he is missing his purple laser, which goes into his point in the middle here. Here is Fisto. And he has like a, a big heavy fist that he just likes to smash people with basically and he does come with a sword in case his fist is not working for some reason <laughs> another personal favorite from back in the day is extendor and well yeah this guy just like his name does extends i'm just going to be very careful as he is old and those joints i don't want to pull too much so yeah, he becomes very, very tall, and he has his shield, which opens out, and it extends out as well. He's one of my favorites. And what would the Horde be without the Horde Troopers? These guys, you know, true to nature, you just press a button and they start falling apart. <laughs> they normally start falling apart, there you go. <laughs> they just start falling apart with the press of a button, which is kind of what they are in the, um, in the show from memory. They just, they don't put up much of a fight and he comes with his weapon. I don't remember how to pronounce his name. Oiko? Oko? Oiko? I really, really honestly don't. Um, I never really liked this character. From what I remember, he was always kind of dipsy in the, <laughs> in the thing. So I didn't really like him that much, but um, he has this cool ability where you put the little wind up thing into here, pull it out and he zips and zaps all over the place and he had this like magic stuff where you could tap it and He-Man would always win over um, Skeletor from memory. My brother had this one when I was young. I just was never into this character in the film. So this is Dragster. I think I showed a Dragster at the start. <laughs> so I have um, a couple of this guy here and I'm missing his zip cord unfortunately. You put a zip cord in here and like the character beforehand you just pulled it out and you went Ehm! along the ground he is unfortunately missing his ripcord and his gray crossbow but he is again one of my favorites i have a lot of favorites and the other villain from skeletor or i should say the other villain leader um because skeletor led most of them but then along came hordak who also has a um a big feature in she-ra's story so Hordak, he comes with his cape, which unfortunately has been broken, and he comes with a broken bat, so his accessories are not in good condition. He does come with a good crossbow, but um, yeah, I had to have Hordak, because you have to have Hordak to be a He-Man fan, I'm sorry, you do. I was so excited to see this guy in the collection with his little mace weapon. This is Moss Man, and he's an amazing condition for his age. Look, his moss looks hardly torn off apart from the upper legs. He's in really good condition. I'm, I'm handling this guy really, really gently. And um, yeah, because I don't want any of that moss to come off. Love, love, love this character. I have a lot of favorites, but yeah, I'm going to put this guy in the favorites bucket too, because <laughs> he's so cool. <laughs> All right, if you're a He-Man fan, you'll know why I'm not taking this guy out of the bag. It is Modular. Uh, there's one of his heads and the other head's in there somewhere. I know he came with all his pieces. Oh, they're over there. <laughs> this is, of course, the character with two personalities who can build himself any way he wants. And his weapon is also buildable. He's really cool. Here is Roboto, and as he spins around, 
his little gears and his mouthpiece move. He is missing his axe and his claw piece. And he is a little faded up here. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be red from memory. I could be wrong, but he is one my brother had when he was younger and I remember playing with him a lot too. <laughs> Here is Whiplash, one of the lizard-like men, and he spins with his tail to give you a whip. <laughs> I've always thought he was kind of one of the more semi-derpy looking characters, but I'm glad to have him. Here is Trapjaw. He's seen a few better days, his head's a bit squeaky when he moves now. Now he is missing his belt, claw and laser gun. His little accessories that fit onto his arm piece here. His head's a bit... <laughs> Poor little trap jaw. He's a cool guy though. Snout Sprout, the elephant one. And you used to fill up here. There used to be a little like red cork from memory that you put in here. I remember my brother having this guy. And you'd fill him up with water and then you'd spray it and it would spray out of his trunk <laughs> at the bad guys. He also comes with his axe. For some reason, whenever I saw this guy or, or anything like that, if he wants to get in focus with me, come on Snout Sprout. I always thought of a fireman. Maybe it was also with the fire axe, but uh, yeah, I always <laughs> thought he should be the fireman of He-Man for some reason. So here is Blast Attack. He is missing his trigger cord and his axe, but generally what would happen with him is he, you'd put the cord in and he would split apart from memory. Poor guy. He's kind of like if you played Dota 2, he's kind of techies. <laughs> he's the techies of He-Man. Or I should probably say it the other way around. Techies is the blast cord of Dota 2. Hmm. Another one that I don't want to bring up, um, another villain from memory, Multibot. He's missing a weapon and five times two prongs. So he's missing his little two prong pieces, five of them, and one blue leg. But I don't want to bring him up and pull him apart. He's got his two heads at least. So there's one there and the orange one's over there. But just like Modulot, you built him how you wanted to play with him. Here is... Rio Blast. Unfortunately his legs need to be restrung. He's got his weapons in there, his weapons that fling out and his weapons on the back. Um, so it's just he needs a bit of work, um, which I'll have to ask someone smarter than me on how to fix him. I always thought this guy was the hunky guy of He-Man. <laughs> I don't know why in character wise. He had all these guns that came out and I thought he was pretty cute. So yeah, that's Rio Blast. And there was different versions of the villains that came out. So we've got another Hordak. He's got his bow there. Now this is Buzzsaw Hordak. So when I press this, this razor-like piece will come spinning out his front to attack. I don't want to do that because I don't want to go searching for it. And the cat's just over there. I don't know if you can hear him purring. He'll probably go over it and bite it. And I don't want him biting my beautiful Hordak pieces. <laughs> but this guy's cape is at least intact. So that's pretty cool. Here is another personal favorite. This is Tongue Lasher. You press the little rotation thing on his back and his tongue lashes out, hence the name. He comes with his staff, but unfortunately he is missing his dragonfly crossbow. He is definitely on my favorites list though. I love this guy. So this is Thunder Punch He-Man with his golden sword. Now, the idea being with this guy is you used to load him up with these little things and as you, they were like, you know, like those crackers on fireworks that would go snap, 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 snap. There used to be these guns where you'd buy these red circular pallet things for and as you did them in play guns or in this He-Man, they used to go snap, pow, 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 pow. So you used to be able to turn this and it would snap one of those things. So he is called Thunder Punch He-Man because he used to make that sound. But I don't think they sell anything like that anymore. I could be wrong. I really don't know. I don't want to try it in the back of him anyway. But he came with his golden sword, so that's cool. Here is Stonda from memory is his, is his name. Um, I might have that wrong. I've written down as Stonda, but I don't remember him as Stonda. I could be wrong. So another one of the guys that as you built him, he turned into a rock. 
because we needed more than one man that turns into a rock. <laughs> but at least this one came with his laser. So we have another Hordak. And this one came with all these little accessories. So he's got all his accessories here. And you put the accessory into his arm. And then you spin it around. So he was known as Hurricane Hordak. One of the few characters I really didn't like in Gwildor. He has missing his cosmic key. I just wasn't a fan. I always thought he looked a bit dorky. <laughs> Acted a bit dorky and looked a bit dorky. But uh, yeah, that's him. Here is Clamp Champ. He is mount missing his power pincher. Rotation still works. Pretty cool. And here we have Nin Jaw. He is missing his nunchucks, but he came with his bow and his sword. He also has his material piece, which is pretty cool. Some of them, you know, they, they just got lost over time. Next, another personal favourite. This is King Hiss. I'm pretty sure these guys worked with Hordak. Like, the snake people worked under Hordak, but eventually they try and break away. Now, the, he comes with his staff and his shield here. And this guy, when you take off his pieces... Oh, oh, if we can keep him in focus there, please, camera. He becomes like a bunch of snakes all held together. Ah! This middle bit I'm just being extra careful with. It does have prongs and I don't want to break the prongs. There we go. I, I think a lot of the snake men were my favorites. I think they just upped their game a bit with the characters and they were just so incredibly cool. Here is Terra Claw Skeletor. He's missing his red back clip and he's also missing his right claw but we've got the left one. Oops, the left one here. So he had two big claws to get you with. And I think this goes somewhere with the red clip at the back. <laughs> it's like snappy thing. Snap, snap. <laughs> Don't know what the snappy thing's for. I just remember the claws. I think this guy might be one of the rarer characters. This is Scare Glow. You know, instead of scared crow. He glows in the dark. He looks really cool. He's got his cape, which is awesome. He's missing his halberd, but I'm really happy to have him. And I really, really like him. He's like a, a smidgen of being one of my favorites. Maybe he is one of my favorites. Oh, he's just a smidgen of being on my favorite list. He's really cool. Here is a very buff King Rando. <laughs> He's really missing his staff spear thing. He has his cape though and his crown, which is really cool. Look at his legs. Like, everybody in this world is so buff. <laughs> Another one of my favorites, Mosquito. You press this thing on his back and the blood in his midsection pumps away. He comes with his purple laser gun. I remember playing with this guy so much when my brother had He-Man figurines. I just love this thing here. Do you know he also had these figurines that were like holographic? Oh my goodness, I might actually have those in storage soon. He had like these action figures that had like holographic things in the, in the middle and you'd take off their chest pieces and there'd be like ghouls and stuff. Oh, I'm going to have to look up those up. But love Mosquito. 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 <laughs> it's Mosquito. I had it the, right the first time. Going through so many names, I'm getting a bit... <laughs> He's so cool. Here is Blade. He's missing his loincloth. Poor fellow. <laughs> and his two swords. So, he was a bit of a fighter. You can see in his arms. They go up and down. Pew, 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 pew. He's got an eye patch too. But he's not a pirate. Uh, this guy is Saroid. I remember my brother having this guy too. And you, you click the things on his back and he'd make sparks out his mouth. And he doesn't seem to do that anymore. It clicks around but it doesn't make the sparks with his thing at the back. I remember my brother having this guy and the sparks shooting out his mouth. Um, was he one of the reptile guys? He does have a tail. 
I don't remember too much about him. He's pretty cool though. He is missing his laser pistol. Here is Beastman and his whip. I always remember this from the comics. He's missing his two arm bands and he is definitely a beastie looking man. <laughs> um, I remember this guy a lot in the show for some reason. I don't know if he was one of the more regular villains, but for some reason this guy rings a lot of bells. Here we have Triclops, whose gimmick is that he has different eyes he can move to. He's angry. He's kind of angry. He's just looking at you unamused. <laughs> He's missing his sword and ring. Here is Battle Armor He-Man. I remember this guy when my brother hit him and you hit him and he takes damage on his chest. He, what's happening with him actually happened a lot to my brother's one eventually. There used to be one hit would go to one bit of damage, two hits would go to two bit damage, but eventually the spring would just go right to the end. He comes with his battle axe, but not his sword. Here is Men E Faces, who, like his name suggests, has different faces. So we've got Humanoid, we've got Robotic, and we've got Bestial. He is missing his ray gun. And of course, what would a collection be without the ever-present Teela? She has her snake-like piece on there. She isn't a villain though. She is a she's one of the good guys, good girls, I guess I should say. <laughs> she, with her armor, she always kind of reminded me of She-Ra, except brunette. She's like a brunette She-Ra. And I believe she is the daughter of this old guy coming up. Is it Man at Arms? Yeah, I think she's the daughter. Man at Arms. For some reason, I remember this guy being a lot, a lot in the show too. Kind of like, and I'm for some reason I do remember him being the father of Teela. I could be wrong, and I'll have corrected myself probably by the time I edit this and all this sort of stuff. But that's just from memory. He was kind of like a, a semi father figure to He Man. You know, a bit of a good advice guy. And here is Battle Armor Skeletor. His springs, unfortunately, have gone. So it doesn't stay down. He's permanently damaged. <laughs> he has a staff, but I believe he's missing a sword. Poor Skeletor. Here is Buzz Off with his wings up. He's missing his helmet. I I've seen a lot of this figurine um, up for about twenty to thirty dollars on the New Zealand site, and every single one I've seen has been missing the helmet. So unfortunately, I think it's going to be one of those pieces that is a bit harder for me to source. Let's buzz off. And here is Cobra Khan. Another one like Snout Sprout because they seem to have had a villain to counter each. You know each hero. So Snout Sprout will spray out water. This guy's the same. You take off his head, you fill it up and you press down his head and you shoot out water. Remember playing with this guy a lot with my brother? <laughs> what siblings aren't going to spray water at each other when they've got a water gun? <laughs> so I've taken out this plastic bag before I get to the vehicles that are included in this lot. There are extra staffs here. Um, I noticed this, wow, which I think might be scare glow um scare glows stuff so there might be some pieces that my husband's thrown in here for me to sort out i do remember this this went on a um this like dragon like creature put the head in there oh yeah i'm pretty sure this went on um skeletor's back and you'd fill it with water and again you'd spray water I'm not too sure what this is we got some purple piece here Got some automatic machine guns that go on one of the things. Yeah, there's some swords and bits and bobs in there that I need to have a look through. I don't know why he's put that in there. Oh, we've got one more character before we start the vehicles and the pets. How could I forget this awesome looking dude, Claw Phil? So yeah, he is a lobster man with a giant claw. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> And now we're going to look at the two bird pets. Again, 
there's like a yin and yang to each He-Man sort of character. There are two horses, mechanical horses. There's two, uh, of course, the ever famous Battle Cat. I can't remember his real name, just Battle Cat, He-Man's Battle Cat. I don't actually know what Skeletor's cat's name is at the moment. The name is escaping me. We've got a couple other little things to look at there. And that'll be my entire haul that I got for the secondhand lot. And if you're a He-Man fan like me, I think I did pretty well. Here are the two stands for the two birds. And then these two birds. Oh my God, they're so cool. Pretty sure the darker colored one here, I'll have his name down the bottom, is the villain's part. And this orange and blue one who looks more regal is the one for the heroes of the story. Let's have a look up close. I love, love, love the He-Man accessories and the characters and the birds and you know, you just don't get this sort of imagination, I feel, nowadays in toy makers. Um, they go for quick sale rather than longevity in a lot of their makes, I feel. It's just things like this. If I saw things like this in the shop now, I would absolutely buy them. But there isn't anything like this as far as I'm concerned. Here we are. Just so incredibly cool. Love it. Here is the jet ski, which the guys pull this up and they grab onto the handles here and then they can zoom all around. Just like the fly that's zooming around in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but flies come in and started zooming around. It started to get darker. It's getting into nighttime. So that's one of the vehicles. Okay, I have the name for this hero vehicle down the bottom. It's pretty much a copy to the villain one, which my brother had the villain one and I absolutely loved it because I was such a My Little Pony fan at the time. <laughs> my Little Pony everything that I hated. <laughs> he probably doesn't even know this. I hated that he got a horse that I didn't. <laughs> it didn't matter that it was a He-Man horse. The fact was it was a horse and I didn't get it. This one's missing his tail. Quite often on the secondhand vehicles, you'll notice that they're missing their pieces on the tail and the guns. Here is Night Stalker. So Night Stalker has his tail and his guns. Yeah, I just think this guy is so cool in his black and gold with all like his weapons around and he looks like he's going out to battle and you could have your figurine in here riding him. He was just so awesome and I was so jealous that my brother got him. <laughs> And now I have him, so I don't care anymore. <laughs> and another character vehicle that I would never admit I was super jealous that my brother had and I didn't have because <laughs> he was, of course, Battle Cat. I don't remember his real name. I'll have his real name down in the text. But yeah, he's come with his armor pieces. He looks so darn cool. And honestly, why couldn't my Barbies ride this guy? Why not, Mum? Why didn't my Barbies have Battle Cat? They wanted to ride a big green tiger too. Who wouldn't? <laughs> he's awesome. And here is Skeletor's answer to Battle Cat. Now this particular cat is flocked, which means it has this fluffy feel to it and it is prone unfortunately anything that goes up against flocking for repetitive use so he has a few nook marks on him he doesn't seem to have his helmet on and I'm assuming he does have a helmet because he has the same battle armor on his body as battle cat really really cool though so next I want to show with this, I got all oh, these awesome original comics. I mean, these were so incredibly cool. I wish they would make boys toys and comics and shows like this again. You can see all the villain characters there and He-Man going at it, one of the vehicles there. Oh no, Sorceress, she's in trouble. <laughs> Just look at this. These things, I believe, sell for a lot just on their own. Um, as I said, in New Zealand, the characters sell for about 20 to $30 each. And I can tell you that I did not pay 
um, a lot for this slot, or I should say my husband did not pay a lot for this slot. We just wanted to see it all to go together. It's a really old one. I, I, for some reason I remember that car, that one being one of the originals. Rock people to the rescue! Just things like this are a piece of toy history and they really, really were kind of making a benchmark, a new bar for boys' toys when they developed He-Man. We then at the end have this collector's list. I'm just going to gently unfold this. One day I would love a Castle Grayscale. Make this old woman <laughs> happy. We never had Castle Grayscale. We had the, um, the Serpent Lair, but n never Castle Grayscale. So if you have a spare Castle Grayscale, you know, lying around, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> so here we have a big collection list. So the Heroic Warriors and the Evil Warriors. Ooh, just got to put that word evil in there. So that's the one. Oh, we had that big bone dragon there. And the evil horde down here. So Skeletor and Hordak kind of work together and also kind of don't. On the other side, Castle Grayscale. I've always wanted Castle Grayscale. So we had... That must be Snake Mountain. We must have had the Fright Zone. I remember playing that a lot with my brother. We had the puppet, we have the tree that grabbed you, and the um, and the dungeon. Let's have a look at the vehicles down here. We had Ashesaurus, we had Land Shark, we didn't have Spider or Dragon Walker. I think we had, um, I'm not sure. We definitely had Battle Ram. Of course, we've got Screecher here, Screech, and Zor. Here's the names of the vehicles, Stridor, of course we've got Battle Cat, Windrider, we had two Windriders, um, Panthor, so Panthor didn't come with headgear, that's interesting. Oh no, hang on, he's, Battle Cat's not wearing headgear either, so probably did. Night Stalker, so really, really cool that is. I'm going to fold this up correctly because I don't want it to break. <laughs> I'm going to end this haul video of my He-Man collection. is isn't my entire collection though. Just mind that there are other, like I said, we've got down with my brother and I. We have the big dinosaur um, carrying vehicle. We have Rotom. We have... Um, it was like this blue, it's this blue vehicle and you can pull the front of it off and it's like, it looks really awesome. Um, there's a blue vehicle, we have the, it's like an insect kind of thing. I think that's one that Hordak actually rides. I can't remember what it is, but it's like an insect that he can ride. So we have a lot of the vehicles down at my brother's place and um, I have a lot of additional characters. So there are a lot of double, double ups that I also have. But um. Yeah, this was just something that my husband grabbed for me secondhand. He brought it for me as a special surprise. And I am so happy. And I'm so happy I can finally share with it. Because I have brought it up a few times in other videos. There is somebody I want to end this video on. Unfortunately, like Rio, his leg stringing has given up. Oh, I won't bring his sword up. His sword is in there. And it is He-Man's, you know, like Superman is to Clark Kent. Adam is to He-Man. Let's bring him up. Here is Prince Adam. How nobody guesses that he is He-Man, who knows? Magic. Here are his legs, the poor fella. So I'm just going to get some tight, oh, tight elastic bands and restring his legs on as best I can. I might watch if there's tutorial videos on that. I'm not exactly sure how to do it. If you love He-Man, please give this video up be you man or be you woman no one can deny he is awesome by the power of grayskull i hereby declare this video done please subscribe if you love toys we love to open toys and we love to share hope to see you in the next video bye bye